Tonight we want to talk about John, the Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 35. Here Jesus is saying, Do not say that it is four months till the harvest, but lift up your eyes and see the field already white for harvest. For he that reapeth, gathereth wages, and receiveth fruits unto life eternal and life everlasting, so that he that soweth and he that reapeth shall rejoice together. And in this proverb is the truth. One soweth and one reapeth. For have, I have sent you forward to reap where you have not labored. Others have labored, and you have reaped into their labor. Now let's look at this quickly and see. Jesus is saying that <coughs> whatever your harvest is, that is what you desire, what you want in life, don't say that that will come in time from now. Maybe four months, maybe a year, maybe four years. But he's giving you a shortcut method of how to make it happen in this life while you're here on earth in a shorter period of time. He said, one, lift up your eyes. Now your eyes now your mind has eyes and you have heard the expression your mind's eye see with your mind's eye not with your physical eye lift up your mind's eye now your physical eye will only see the physical but your mind's eye can see the future can visualize and fantasize and look into the future by using your imagination so lift up your eyes and see the feel what see whatever it is that you want is manifesting right now inside of you into the kingdom of heaven and he that we he that repet gathered wages and fruits unto life everlasting so he's saying that the one part of you that reaps will gather the um, fruits and the wages unto life everlasting. And this, when this happens, the one that sows and the one that reaps will rejoice together. Now your mind is made up of the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. Now the conscious mind plants and sows into the garden of the subconscious mind which is your soul. Now your conscious mind cannot grow, cannot reap anything, but it can sow, it can plant. While your soul or subconscious mind can only grow and reap, <coughs> it cannot plant. So they need one another and since a fruit or a field comes to fruition, manifestation, your desires become manifested in the physical world, the um, conscious mind that has sown that desire and your subconscious mind are working together and when they work together and they produce the fruit, they both rejoice together. So in your mind, one sows, that your conscious mind can only sow, and your subconscious mind can only reap. <coughs> so he said, I send you forward to reap where you have not labored. Those have sown and labored, and you have entered into their labor. So this is fascinating stuff that Jesus was telling us about the mind and how it works and what you should do. Don't wait on time for things to come to you. Visualize. 
imagine, fantasize, see the actual thing that you want but it's in your mind at this moment <coughs> and one of you will reap while the other will sow so what Jesus is saying that you should visualize have the desire of what you want visualize right now what you want uh, emotionalize it uh, have a picture it see it have the intent to have it and act as if it is already so and uh, both of you who have brought this about the one that saw it that is your conscious mind and the one that reap it your soul or subconscious mind shall both rejoice together I am amazed that Jesus Christ's teaching is so practical and it is about life itself it is about acquiring things in this world be it house land money property jewelry or the kingdom of heaven visualize it visualize it see it lift up your mind's eye use your imagination and sow it in the garden of your subconscious mind for as you sow so shall you reap. Thank you.